another video on Mr. Gummy Bear Plays YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some Blattsburg Halloween hacks, build hacks, other things, things you might not know about the new Halloween update. Today I'm joined with Fry and he's going to be judging on which is the best hack at the end of the video so stay tuned and maybe just watch through in case you spot anything that you may like or stuff that you've maybe want to do in the future. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, as you may have noticed right now, I'm actually in Freeview Cam. Um, that you can do by clicking Shift P together on your keyboard. This is only available if you own a neighbourhood. Um, so, if you have a neighbourhood, you'll be able to use Shift P to go in and out of Freeview. So, with our first hack, um, during neighbourhood, um, if you own a neighbourhood, you may have noticed that there's new options for owning a neighbourhood. Um, the first option is you can now change the weather. So I might put it on a fog and you can change the time permanently. So you can have it permanently night time. Obviously, this fits in with the spookiness of the Halloween video that I'm making. And you can also change the ground colour. And here you've got the RGB. But you can change any colour you want. Um... If I go into build mode now, uh, another thing that you change is if you want to paint something, like this table, when you hover over something, the RGB will come up just here on what colour you're hovering over. So if you say you want the grand, like, grand the lime green, or your grass lime green, trees lime green, you just get that RGB, which will be 0252, no, sorry, 2550, and you'll be able to make your ground that. Personally, I'm not going to mess around with it, because I do want to keep some stuff obviously as it is um but i'm going to be changing some stuff around maybe up coming to christmas i can change the ground white that'd be pretty cool but with the first before we get into the builds actually we're gonna go to the car maze and i'll show you a couple of little things there So, here we are at the corn maze, um, if you're wondering where this is, it's just where the camping is over there, along that road, and you come up here. If you didn't already know, this was actually a shortened version of what Froggy built, um, on one of his videos ten months ago, um, where there is a band playing over there, what is it, I think Tom and the Beat build Builders, uh, well you can actually hear the music, I've not got it playing right now, but. Tom's finally back on the map, guys. Uh, if that's a little secret that you didn't know already. You can actually use these balloons and carry them round. And if you feel like you want to stock up on the food, you can't be bothered spending time, you can indeed buy the individual food and take it back to your house. It's not the same as having a plate of tombstone brownies or pumpkin cookies or whatever you want, but you've got them in the fridge. Um, I personally are gonna make them because I want them to be on plates um, I can use them in restaurants and apparently yeah you can actually cook things in here by taking ingredients um, which is a cool little easter egg that not many people do know about and over in this corn maze I'm not gonna do it right now but you only get one trophy which I thought wasn't very happy about I thought you could get multiple trophies uh, once you've completed going through this car maze, you will be able to get a plaque. It says, challenge completed, presented to Gummy underscore chop. Obviously, it is a corn. Uh, you can only get one of these, so make sure you complete that car maze and get your little trophies. For the second hack, I'm actually going there in free view. Sorry if it's a bit, like, yeah, horrible. But over in the shops, um, if you didn't already know, you can now, instead of Bloxy Cola, get Witch's Brew, which is actually called Witch's Brew. It lowers your hygiene. Um, I'll show you what one looks like in a minute. But if you go into the shop, here you can buy pumpkins. They go in your inventory. Pretty cool. But I don't think anyone would want to buy them from this. You go into the shop, just here. Oh, wait, what? They've actually gone. I'm so glad I stocked up on a couple literally yesterday. They're out of the game now, apparently. I'm just going to go back to my character right now and see if they're in my fridge. 
Yeah, that'll be... No. Yeah, I know. The witch's bruise. Yeah, witch juice. Uh, feed my content. The witch's brew. Uh, luckily, I just spammed the button. So, yeah, you can get them now. Um, they reduce hygiene. Plus your hunger. But that's really odd. That they literally removed that after, like, what? It's been... It came out of the for Two days, the update's been out for... No, three... Uh, three days the update's been out for now basically they've already removed it that's not not the f most fun i've had um anyway let's get that hack done um so my second hack i'm kind of winging this one um it's to do with the new cauldron i've seen obviously now you can scale this which is what i'm gonna do here um i'm not i'm gonna change the grid size actually so get a nice size cauldron around that big, I'd say. Yeah, maybe a bit wider. Like that, yep. And you want to just tick that together. And you need to go actually to basic shapes. Which, if you're wondering, basic shapes, you can just change them. And uh, obviously do stuff with them. I'm sure it's the cylinder I do it with. I place it in here like this. And then scale that. And also a key bind for scale is V. Uh, that's how I do it so quick. Yeah, there we go. No, that's actually too small. There we go. We have a nice filled cauldron uh, that you can paint green. A nice green colour. No, I'd do a less, less potent green. More of a witch's green like that. And then go into the special items, which I just think in addition, you can put an emergent... No, actually... Uh, yeah, I've made it too small. Well, I knew that was going to happen. Um, and now I can't scale anything. Yeah, scaling's broken, guys. Yeah, I've figured out now how to scale. It's because something was in it um, that stopped it from scaling. I'm just going to make this a slight bit bigger and a bit taller, like so. Yeah, that should hopefully work a bit better now. Um, and plunk this in the middle. So there you go, you have a nice filled cauldron. Uh, hopefully it works this time. And then let's chuck in a skeleton's head there. With with that, what if you put um fry? What's well, should add skeleton arm where you can move around and position, breaking out of the cauldron. Yeah, we do. You have a skeleton head and skeleton arms like that. And then obviously you have the skeleton feet, which they added in the recent update. Where it makes it look like this skeleton is being nicely cooked. Uh, that is quite a nice um, thing that you could add if you really wanted some sort of skeleton being boiled to its bones. Um, and maybe if you wanted for a bit of effect, you could add some fog. Like this, maybe. Let's paint that a little bit green so it looks like you've got some nice slightly green fog coming out of your cauldron that's yeah don't worry about him he's just having a bath but that looks pretty effective i would be quite pleased if i saw some that, that on someone's plot um so yeah first hat over and done with moving on to the second one this is another thing to do with the skeletons um oh my vehicle has just been absolutely destroyed thanks bob um a lot of things to do with this update are around obviously Skeletons and I've got a lot of hacks around them. So you need two dirt piles, which I don't know why I'm placing them You need a tombstone Which for this video I'm gonna use a rip. I'm not gonna use the oof because look at it 15,000 for a gravestone, but I'm gonna buy some of them um, this year Which I've never bought one before 20,000 for a oof coffin, but I mean it's Roblox Who doesn't love a bit of an oof in Roblox? Um, you want to place your skeleton just there and put mud um, you want to maybe spin it around so it can get mostly covered and get some legs like that and then hopefully they should gone like that and there you go you have a skeleton arising out of the dirt and you can even scale up the tombstone 
say you have a nice big gravestone, say, the skeletons would rise it out of the ground. And yeah, that's the second one. And I did have another hack for a homemade web. I'm going to put the picture of it on my house or on my farm on the screen right now, as you can see. It's pretty cool. You use it with the rope and, um, what's it called? Custom placement. I'm about to say it that. And the final um, hack I actually have is, final hack I have is to do with the coffin. Um, so this actually only came to my mind today. Um, so what I thought was, if I get a basic shape, I'm just going, going, going at this now, you know. It doesn't really matter if it fails or not, but you could try it, try and make it work if it doesn't work on the video today. Um, you know, it'll probably take about five minutes, see? See, oh, look, yeah. Let's try making a zombie emerge from a coffin. Uh, I'm going to flatten that down to the size of a coffin. Hopefully that's around the same size. I'm going to place... Give me... Right, right. There we go. There we go like that. That's pretty cool. Place it so it's just coming out there like that slightly. And let's paint that black. So it looks like there's a big hole in the coffin. Um, and the slants have came apart to make a gap, which is really nice, actually. And let's get a skeleton there. And there we go, we've got a skeleton. Let's angle that a bit better. We've got a skeleton clambering out of a coffin. I'm going to go in now, actually, and take a look at some of these hacks. So we have a nice skeleton having a bath in a cauldron with some smoke. Obviously, a vat there. A skeleton emerging out of the dirt. Yeah, the skeletons are very useful in the builds. And as you can see, a skeleton clambering out of that coffin there. That'll actually look really good and I'm really impressed. So, without further ado, Fry, would you like to give each one of them a vote out of 10? And we will decide which one is overall winner. So, without further ado, let's get into the voting. So, would what would you rate the skeleton emerging out of the coffin? I really like this one. Definitely a 9 out of 10. That was my impression of Fry there. Um, that's great scored one. Um, our second score for the skeleton emerging out of the soil. So Fry has voted as probably a 7 or an 8. It could be improved slightly. Yeah, it could be improved. And now our final um, hack. The skeleton having a bath in a cauldron. Um, what do we think of this one, Fry? I think this one is hilarious. 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, so we have a clear winner. The... Yeah, he looks so angry. There you go, guys. The winner is this amazing, pretty much, skeleton in a bath of a cauldron. Um, I think it's quite good. My favourite must be the skeleton coming out of the coffin. Uh, just because it looks like he's pushed them planks away and he is out going to infest the rest of this world. Um, so, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.